Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So a slightly different video today. I wanted to talk about something that's been happening on the Asian servers involving Irish, the patron saint of spawn campers, and a strategy that's emerged on Spearhead where you spawn trap the US side by taking over the roof of the cube on point E2. Now normally I don't really mind Irish. It's quite fun digging out spawn campers, hijacking their vehicles, and then turning the guns against them to shoot them down later. Equally, it's always fun to get an opportunity for a little bit of Sundance practice and uh, special forces, anybody who's hiding on the back line. But this strategy, which I'm about to show you in a few seconds, for me, has gone a little bit too far. I don't like spawn trapping, and night after night in my lobbies, I'm seeing my team or other teams get annihilated by it. So I'm making this video to help. Like I said, this is all over the Asian lobbies at the moment, and I'd be really interested to know if it's made it to the US or Europe, or if it even originated there, because it's only been going on for a couple weeks over here. All right, intro over, let's get on with it. So to solve a problem, we first must understand it. So here I am about to do the Irish trap. Remember, I'm not endorsing this. I'm doing it to show people how to escape. So step one, when you're playing as the Russians, is to get yourself on top of the factory cube closest to the US spawn. Don't care how you do it. The more people to go, the higher the chance of success. So once they're up there, what they're gonna do is put down the Irish trophies on the corner closest to the US spawn. If you see the other team doing this, shut it down immediately to save yourself a lot of pain. Regrettably, this player just missed a chance to stop me dead, but never mind. The next thing they're gonna try to do, you see the flasher blinking in the bottom left, when they can, call in a cav. Again, the more players that are up here, the quicker you're gonna be able to get it down. Now, the reason why you want the cav is it has an excellent AA gun, which is pointing straight at their aerial spawn, it's an infinite spawn beacon, it has crazy armor, and it has APS. This will let the other team get troops onto the roof very quickly and start fortifying. So now the team trying to pull off this trap are actually in a pretty good position. From here on out, it's gonna be quite hard to get rid of them if you don't know what you're doing, which again is why I'm making this video. Because of the position, rail guns and tanks will not be able to get you out of the problem you're now in. So you can see my team is dropping in, insertion beacons are going down, it's about to get rough. So the first wave of jets have blown it, and believe me, those two players are not going to be the last. The other team's starting to get wise to what's going on here, trying to fight back, but it's already, frankly, at this point, a little bit too late unless they change their tactics quite significantly. What you mustn't do, as you're about to see here, is if you're being trapped like this, do not fly forward when you spawn in. Even the slightest movement, you will be in range of the air gun. All of their shots were nullified by the trophy system, and a small mistake later, I get them. Now, even though I usually rejoice at nightbirds getting shot down, nightbird players, don't try it. Wonderful. The only thing a nightbird can do to help in this situation is to drop out sun dancers, but we'll get to that in a moment. Now, wave two spawns in. The first pilot goes straight over me, which is a bit safe, but still takes damage, but the second one just makes the same mistakes. Yeah, and now the least players are on to me, but no danger. A jet heading back to spawn for cover is very quickly caught out by our being up here. And Leeds players continue to waste their time. Literally pointless trying to list all. Anyway, the next Apache pilot makes the same mistake as the last one. As I'll show you in a second, that's completely avoidable <laughs> and the Lissalers keep trying their luck. Again, literally pointless trying to list out someone doing this trap. So interestingly, the team's about to get their second chance. Had the jet made a different decision here, they could have taken me, but instead they just keep repeating the mistake I'm seeing others make over and over again every night. Now you're going to see them change tactics and try to take me out with a stealth heli. Which, if you didn't know, doesn't work. One of the bombs somehow managed to splash out one of my Irish trophies, but as you can see, that is hardly a big deal. 
three seconds to replace them and we're back in business. Anyway, the kicking continues. And as you can see, I've now got a small army of people up here. They keep trying the same thing over and over again to knock me out. And now it's getting a bit worse for them because someone else on my team has just called in a wildcat, which will also be protected by my trophy. And there goes another jet. So including the condor you're about to see get wasted, that seven jets, two Apaches, a Nightbird, a condor, and a Pontork we took out. Pretty painful for the opposition. But there it is. Now we've all seen the trap in action. We all know what we're talking about. Let's take a look about how we break out of it. And I've asked a friend to help me to record the following section in Portal. So it's just much easier to record it because I'm a little pressed for time. Yep. The number one way to break out is to spawn the Apache and then immediately fly backwards and up. As you can see, the cab Way or even the wildcat cannot touch me and the 30 millimeter rounds immediately wipe out the trophy system. You switch straight to attack and in a matter of seconds. Congratulations, you just escaped the Irish trap. Now the only yep. caveat to this is what you're about to see here. If the cab uses that active protection system, it actually has a very wide area of effect that will protect the trophies, providing they're close to the vehicle. However, APS only lasts for a few seconds, so if you see the blue marker intercepting, just back off and repeat five seconds later. I'm not hitting nothing, man. Okay, here's another option. It's a last resort move if nobody on your team is helping you and you're alone and you're just watching your team get obliterated. First, when you spawn in, immediately break to the left, loop wide around to the other side of the tower and do what has Don't to be done. here. I'm chopped. Oh, terrible driver. Now, obviously teamwork is better, but if you are alone, what else are you supposed to do? Just yeah, don't waste the mine. jet. Don't hit from behind. Yep. Only an impact from the side will send the vehicle flying. The back doesn't current. work. But yeah, congratulations. You just saved your team. Another thing you can do is equip EMP grenades, get yourself a pond hawk and pop up right next to the cav, or rather the trophies, and take them out. Trophy can't intercept an EMP grenade. Yes, I died, but I got rid of the trophies. Let's uh, try again without going quite so high. Got away that time, even when there weren't any other distractions to shoot at. Lastly, just keep in mind the stealth helicopter EMP does not work. It's intercepted like a rocket. It's useless. The last credible option I think you'll need to be able to get rid of somebody who's camping up there is to call in Sundance and flying squirrel them. Sundance is absolutely amazing at wrecking campers. I'm starting to get quite reasonable with it. And if you haven't seen it, there's a guide by Crazy Knull. I'll link it in the description. Watch it. It'll change your life. Fantastic explanation. Of course, in an actual game, they wouldn't be waiting for you. Trust hey, me, it hey, does hey, work. What, what so I that's say? it. Like I said, a short one. Let's uh, outro with some actual gameplay where I'm trying to break out of the uh, Irish trap. You might want to watch this one to the end because there's actually some pretty damn good gameplay for myself and the squad backing me up. A bunch of people I don't know. Thank you very much for all the help. As I said in the introduction, I made this video to help. I want to show people how to break out and not get spawn camped, how not to get trapped by people using AA paired with Irish. And I really hope it was some help, some benefit for you. Not sure if this is the final video before season seven, or they said it is coming out in March, but uh, let's end up with a little bit of Grand Theft Auto. Have a great one, guys. See you next time. Thanks for your patience. Bye-bye.